Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and it's a new release week for Blu-ray and 4K. So here's everything coming out for January 5th, 2021. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365. Okay, it's a brand new year. Happy New Year, everybody. And of course, that means Blu-rays and 4Ks all for 2021. Let's start out with this week, January 5th. Also, really quickly, while a lot of these titles can be purchased at locally at places like Walmart and Best Buy, Amazon.com is also available. If you want to help out the channel, I will go ahead and put an affiliate link in the comments section and in the description of this video if you want to purchase any of these movies that I'm about to mention. One of the big releases this week is from Paramount Pictures, and that is Love and Monsters. This is getting a Blu-ray and a 4K slipcover edition, which will be available in stores and online. I can't wait to check this one out for myself. Uh, no exclusives or steelbooks for this one, unfortunately, but uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I can't wait to watch it and review it for the channel. Let me know if you plan on picking up the Blu-ray or 4K in the comments below. Yellow Rose, a 2019 release from Sony Pictures is coming out this week. I don't know too much about this one. I couldn't find a whole lot of information, but uh, this one will be available on Tuesday. Universal Pictures is releasing a five movie collection called Girls Night In, which will feature five movies featuring uh, women in various roles. Uh, the movies included will be Bridesmaids, Girls Trip, Pitch Perfect, Sisters, and Trainwreck. This will be available on Tuesday. I can't imagine this one uh, being in stores. It might show up at Best Buy, but uh, Amazon will probably be your best bet for picking this one up. The Man Who Would Be King is getting a release from WB Archive. The 1975 film starring Sean Connery is coming out on Tuesday. It's been a number of years since I've seen it. I remember uh, one of the earlier Sean Connery films that I've watched personally, aside from the Bond movies. Magnolia Pictures is releasing a 2020 film called 12 Hour Shift. It looks like a thriller horror film. I don't know too much about this one, but uh, of course this should be available. Uh, I would say online would be your best opportunity to buy this one. Tintoria, 1977 film, is getting a release from Scorpion Releasing. Uh, the studio releases occasional movies like this one. Uh, these will be available online. The Black Gestapo, a 1975 film, is getting released from Code Red. I don't know too much about this one. This looks like a good 70s era type of movie, but uh, once again, this will be available this week. Savage Streets, a 1984 film starring Linda Blair, is coming out this week. This looks pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Of course, Linda Blair from The Exorcist, as you may know, uh, did uh, various roles afterwards, and this one will be available. Wild West Days, a group of 1937 serials will be coming out this week. Online will be your only opportunity. I do not expect to see this one in stores. Kino Lorber is releasing a number of titles this week, and with all Kino Lorber stuff, your best bet will be to pick this one up on places like Amazon and Deep Discount. The Train, a 1964 film starring Burt Lancaster, is coming out this week. I don't think I've ever seen this one. I have actually surprisingly seen very few Burt Lancaster movies, but this one may be worth checking out. Ingagi, a 1930 film, is coming out this week. This one looks very interesting from the description. Let me know if you've seen it and what did you think. The Secret War of Harry Frigg, a 1968 film starring Paul Newman, is coming out on Tuesday. Captain Newman, MD, 1963 film starring Gregory Peck and Tony Curtis is also being released from Kino Lorber. Rough Night in Jericho, a 1967 film starring George Pappard and Dean Martin is also coming out. Texas Across the River, 1966 film starring Dean Martin is coming out this week. It looks like Dean Martin's the Kino Lorber uh, star of note for this particular Tuesday. Beach Red, a 1967 film starring Rip Torn is also coming out from the studio. And Mario Ruspoli, The Prince of the Whales, a 2011 documentary is being released by Kino Lorber. Gravitas Ventures is also releasing a few titles this week. And of course, online at places like Amazon will be your best bet. My Dad's Christmas Date, a 2020 film starring Jeremy Piven is coming out on Tuesday. Moments in Space Time, a 2020 film starring John Reese davies is coming out this week as well. And Nina of the Woods, another 2020 film is getting released from Gravitas Ventures. 
Not too much coming out for TV this week, but The 100 Season 7, the sci-fi drama series, is getting a release. I would say Best Buy would probably have it, but of course Amazon will be uh, there for your convenience. And finally, the Criterion Collection is releasing one title this week, and with most Criterion Collection Blu-rays, you should be able to pick this up locally at Barnes & Noble, but of course Criterion's website and Amazon will be there for your convenience. Three films by Louis Bernal, 1972 to 1977, is coming out this week. So that is everything coming out on Blu-ray and 4K for January 5th, 2021. Let me know in the comments section below what you plan on picking up for yourself this week. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.